Good evening, Ecclesia, at sa ating mga viewers po ngayong umaga, sa ating mga bisita. And good morning po from Winnipeg, uh, Canada. Ngayon po ay we celebrating the Thanksgiving here in uh, Canada. So tayo po ay uh, tumayo at uh, let's get our Bible. And open it on uh, Luke chapter 19. Verse 10. Luke chapter 19, verse 10. Basahin po natin ang sabay-sabay. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Let's bow down our head and pray. Lord Heavenly Father, once again, O God, we praise and thank you, O God, for this wonderful day. Thank you so much, Father God, for this privilege to stand before our uh, pastor's pulpit. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon, sa muli niyong uh, binigay niyo po ang pagpapala uh, ngayong araw na ito na pahayag ang inyong salita. At uh, nawa, Panginoon, uh, ito po ay pagpapala sa lahat ng makikinig, lalo na po sa aming mga bisita na hindi pa po nakakilala po sa inyo bilang personal Lord and Savior o God. Patawarin niyo po kami, Panginoon, sa aming mga kasalanan na aming nagawa na hindi kaya-aya po sa inyo na uh, Bigyan niyo po ako ng wisdom, O God, and knowledge to preach thy word. At kayo lamang po ang may taas at hindi po ang aming sarili. Maraming pong salamat. Ito po yung dinadalangin. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's all be seated, please. Muli po, good, good evening po dyan sa Pilipinas at uh, good morning po dito sa Winnipeg, uh, Canada. As we start, a lot of people knows everything. In fact, they invented everything in this world. But the one who created all things, who gave everything in this universe, they don't know. And his name is Jesus Christ. The one who gave himself to us sinners to save us from the penalty of sin. Join me today as we ponder these two very important questions that not many of us cannot answer. And it is very sad to say that even the brightest people don't know the answer. As I entitled my message, The Love of Christ. The Love of Christ. Luke 19, verse 10. Does Jesus love me? And that is my first question. Does Jesus loves you? Many people want, wondered if Jesus really loves them. The Bible is very clear that no matter what we have done, Jesus does love us. In fact, he promises to both forgive us of every wrong we have done and provide us eternal life if only we will believe. In him. In the verse of John chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Ang sino man daw po na maniniwala sa Panginoong Yeso Cristo ay hindi mapapahamak. Of course, magkakaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. And in Romans chapter 8, 5, verse 8 says, But God commended His love toward us in that while we are sinners, Christ died for us. Ganun po ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa atin. Na bagamat tayo po'y makasalanan, mahal pa rin po tayo ng Panginoon. Binigye, binigay niya ang kanyang bugtong na anak si Yesu Cristo. Before we were even born, God sent His only Son, and that is Jesus Christ. He died for us on our behalf to give us the opportunity to eternal life. This amazing gift comes to us because of His wonderful grace toward us. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9 says, 
For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Marami pong tao na kala nila na sila'y maliligtas sa kanilang kayamanan, sa kanilang karunungan, pero hindi po. It's all by the grace of God that we can only save to accept Him as our personal Lord and Savior. True faith. Without faith, we cannot truly be called saved. We don't have to earn His love. We simply accept it. Tanggapin lang natin ang Panginoong Yeso Kristo nang buo sa ating puso at totoo na may paninampalataya. It may be difficult to believe Jesus loves you because of other people who have yet let down in the past na maraming nakaraan ang mga ta. However, Jesus is unlike any other person. He is God in human form. In John chapter 1, verse 14, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He was involved in creating us. He is the one who created us. That's why we are here today. He sustains our every breath. And He offers us new life and eternal life in Him. Another reason it may be difficult to accept the truth that Jesus loves you is that something you have done in the past troubles you. Jesus already knows your past. Alam po ng Panginoon lahat. And still offers you eternal life and forgiveness. A wonderful example of His love can be found in His last hours on the cross. One of the men crucified next to Him was being put to death because for His friends. And turning to Jesus, and He said, In Luke chapter 23, 42 to 43 says, And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. Despite of these criminal sins, bagamat tayo'y makasalanan, Jesus accepted him, his simple and sincere act of faith and promise Him eternity in heaven. Even though Jesus knew that man had no time to live his life differently. When we ask, how much does Jesus loves me? We only need to look at, at the cross, where He stretched out His arms and said, It is finished. He gave His life to give you and me a new life. Di po ba napaka aliwanag ng sinabi ng Panginoon na bagkus tayo ang nandun sa krus pero siya ang nag-suffer po sa ating makasalanan upang tayo matubos sa penalty of this death. And to give this gift, it's a free gift and that gift is that salvation, yung kaligtasan na tinatamasa natin ngayon bilang isang mananampalatay. At sa ating mga bisita po ngayong umaga, gabi, nais po ng Panginoon na tanggapin siya bilang inyong personal Lord and Savior. Wala na pong iba. Wala na po tayong ibang dapat gawin kung hindi tanggapin ang Panginoon at mananampalataya ng tapat sa Kanya. Another question is how can I have personal relationship with Jesus Christ? Paano po tayo magkakaroon ng personal na relasyon sa Panginoon? A relationship with Jesus is the most important relationship a person can have. Totoo po yun. Wala na pong ibang magbibigay po sa atin ng personal na relasyon bilang isang tapat at tunay na kaibigan kung hindi ang Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Hindi po ang ating mga anak, hindi po ang ating pamilya, 
kung hindi ang Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Sapagkat pagkay meron kang mga suliranin sa buhay, especially in this time of pandemic, there is a lot of things that surround you, that bothered you, that worries you. But only the Lord Jesus Christ can give that love and joy in our life. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 to 5 says, But God who is rich in mercy, for His great love will He, he love us. Napakabiyaya ng Panginoon po sa atin. Even when we were dead in sins, kahit tayong makasalanan. At quicken us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. It's only by the grace of God we are saved. Forgiveness and indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And in the future bodily resurrection and in home in heaven. In John 14:16 to 17, and I will pray the Father, and I shall give you another Comforter, that He may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the Word cannot receive, because it seeth Him not, neither knoweth Him, but ye know Him, for He dwelleth with you, and He shall be with you. Napakaganda po ano? Napakasarap po ng salita ng Panginoon sapagkat ginagabayan po tayo ng banal na no Holy Spirit, ng bahal na Espiritu, kung tayo ay tatanggap sa Panginoon. If we will receive only the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit is with us and it will work with us. In John 14 verse 19 says, Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. Kung tayo po ay mayroong pagkakilala sa Panginoong Yeso Kristo bilang personal Lord and Savior, siya po ay mag-aari sa ating buhay at mananatili sa ating buhay magpakailanman. Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 to 21 For our conversation is in heaven from whence also we look for the savior the Lord Jesus Christ who shall change our vile body what it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working hereby he is able even to subdue all things unto him To establish our relationship with Jesus Christ is not difficult. Hindi po mahirap. Jesus himself came, as this verse says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. He has issued this invitation in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There is some time point, may pagkakataon po na ang dami nating burden sa ating buhay. We, everything is burning out us to love family, to our, to our uh, ministries, to our friends, loved ones, but The Lord says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Napakasarap po, di po ba? When you are very weak, and then the Lord says, Come to me, I will give you rest. The word of the Lord is our rest as a believer of the Lord Jesus Christ. He has called for us to trust Him. In John 14.1, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. It's been two years now, this pandemic that we have in this world. But still, hindi pa po natatapos. Ang dami pa rin. 
nagkakaroon ng sakit na ito, ang dami pa rin na mamatay. But as believer of the Lord Jesus Christ, what we are doing, we need to reach out all of these people. In fact, this care station is using by the Lord Jesus Christ through our senior pastor, Dr. Benny Abante Jr., that we are reaching every single people here in Canada. Hindi lamang po dito sa Winnipeg. In fact, yung pong ating nag-testimony kanina, si Brother Ross is from Calgary. That is two hours away from uh, Winnipeg if you uh, uh, go there by plane. But if you will travel, it will 13 to 16 hours travel. And we praise God for that because through the social media, this care station ay nakita po and we reach out them. And there is one more now that one uh, brethren from uh, Middle East that we are we reach out and now we are need to disciple her in Calgary. Yan po yung salita ng Panginoon. And he has spoken to us as friends also. In John 15, 14, 15 says, Ye are my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. So Jesus certainly willing to have a relationship with us. The Lord Jesus Christ is our true friend. No other friend but Jesus Christ. Having relationship with Jesus is based on God's grace through faith. It's all by the grace of God why we are here today, your servant. To understand, we need to look at a few relatively simply truths found in the Bible. And the first truth is we need to recognize in order to have relationship with Jesus Christ. Our relationship with God is broken. We have sin against sin. Tayo po'y nagkasala, kaya broken po ang ating relasyon sa Panginoong as a person. We have done things that are wrong in His sight. As the Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. God's standards is perfection since he absolutely is holy and we all fall short of that standard. We each need to humble ourselves, my brothers and sisters, before God and admit our sin. To have a relationship with Jesus, we also need to understand the biblical truth. And the truth is that the wages of sin is death. In Romans chapter 6, verse 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Ang kabayaran po ng kasalanan ay kamatayan, pero may big regalo ang Panginoon po sa atin. At yan ang eternal life, buhay na walang hanggan. Kung tatanggapin po natin siya bilang personal Lord and Savior. The wages are the payment for what we do. So the payment or result of our sin is death. This is speaking of spiritual death. Eternal separation from God in the place that the Bible calls hell. Ang kabayaran po ng ating kasalanan ay kamatayan. Pero kung ang tatanggapin po natin ang Panginoong Yeso Kristo bilang personal Lord and Savior, then we will have this eternal life. Hindi na po tayo magdudusa sa impyerno, bagkus sa langit makakasama natin ang Panginoong Yeso Kristo. To have a relationship with Jesus, thirdly, the truth is God loves us in spite 
of our sins. And he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us as our substitute. In Romans chapter 5, verse 8, But God commended his love toward us in that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. He didn't wait for us to clean up our act or somehow overcome our sin because it's an impossible. Rather, he sacrificed himself for us while we were still strings from him. He chose to take the punishment that we deserve. He took our place, and that's why he was in the cross. Then we need to admit that there is absolutely nothing we can do to save ourselves. Hindi po natin maliligtas ang ating sarili, sa sarili nating kakayanan, sa sarili nating kayamanan o karunungan. But it's only by the grace of God we are saved. It's only to the contribute of to our salvation. On the basis of Christ's sacrifice for our sins and forgives our sins by grace, by undeserved blessing. For by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God not of works, lest any man should boast. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 9. As conclusion, the Lord Jesus has already done all the work. Ginawa na po lahat ng Panginoon upang tayo'y tumanggap sa Kanya at tanggapin siya bilang personal Lord and Savior. In John 19, Verse 30 says, When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed, he said, and gave up the ghost. And he did perfectly. Salvation is not about what we can do, but about what Christ has done for us, for you and me. Knowing these truths from Scripture, you can have relationship with Jesus by receiving him by faith. Turn from your sin and trust Jesus and his finished work on the cross to have paid for your sins. Call out to him as the risen Savior who conquered death once and for all and accept him as your Lord and Savior. In John 1, 12 says, but as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. You can receive Jesus today by faith and thus begin a relationship with him this very moment. Right, right where you are as you hear his words. You can express your faith in him by praying this sinner's prayer. Inaanyayahan ko po ang lahat ng ating mga bisita dito man sa Canada o sa Pilipinas around the world na iyuko natin ang ating mga ulo at ariin itong panalangin na ito at sumabay po kayo sa akin. Let's bow down our head and pray. Lord, I realize that I'm a sinner be merciful to me. I know that I deserve the consequences of my sin, that I am bound to hell, and I repent all my sins. I trust you and believe in you, that your death and resurrection provided for my forgiveness. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior in faith. Thank you, Lord, for saving and forgiving me. Amen and Amen. Soli Deo Gloria. Kung ikaw ay pinagpala ng iyong napanood, kung nais mong maunawaan pang lalo ang tungkol sa salita ng Diyos, 
Hayaan mong makipag-ugnay kami sa iyo. Ibigay lamang ang ilang mahalagang impormasyon sa iyong sarili sa pamamagitan ng aming online form. I-type ang go.mbbe.org slash accept sa inyong internet browser at punan ng mga impormasyon ukol sa iyong sarili. Maaari ka rin magtungo sa mbbe.org para sa iba pang impormasyon tungkol sa aming mga gawain at pagsamba. Kagalakan namin na ikaw ay makilala bilang isang bagong kaibigan at kapamilya kay Kristo, ang iyong sariling Panginoon at Agapagligtas.